Welcome once again guys in my YouTube channel. Malikay ang pagdating sa aking channel mga Katek. Today I'm going to answer the question of one of my constituents and he is asking me on how to set the defrost time. And I want to answer that not only about the defrost time but as a whole. So stay tuned. Gusto kong sagutin guys ang tanong ng aking kababayan na ang tanong niya is paano daw kung paano iset ang defrost time. Ayaw ko sagutin guys ng bahagya lamang ngunit gusto kong sagutin ng as a whole. Dito nga pala guys kung makikita nyo itong hawak ko is uh, a manual kapag bibili tayo ng bagong Dixel. At ito ay four models here and it is Dixel XR 10CX XR20CX, XR30CX, and XR40CX. And as you notice guys, here, kung mapapansin nyo guys, dito, mas maraming setting ang para sa 40CX. Ayan, mas marami siya. Ayan, hanggang dito, hanggang dito. At mas kakaunti naman ang para sa XR10CX. Fewer settings and since this control is XR 20 CX dito tayo sa highlights we proceed here to the highlighted here and I would like to answer the question and let's begin guys in TDF TDF guys is a defrost type uh, in XR 40 CX this is uh, between electrical and in. And what's the in? That in, guys, is for the hot gas defrosting. And here is it. Defrost type. Under the defrost type, we have electrical and in. And the default is the electrical. Okay? I'm going to make a separate uh, tutorial about this. And for the, we don't have for the 10, 20, and 30. And next, guys, is the DFP. This is the probe selection for the frost termination. In XR40CX, we have the set P2. And we can select that for mga kapamili tayo dyan guys. Under ng DFP, meron itong selection na no probe, P1, P2, P3, hanggang P4. But the default is P2. And in this case guys, sa mga ibang model, in the other model of Dixel, I'm not recommending to disable the probe 2 sensor because probe 2 is intended for evaporator sensor and it sends frost accumulated from the evaporator that's why it's not recommended to disable this one but if you are going to use two probe of any brand of Dixel you use that in freezer use the probe 2 if you use that in chiller you can uh, disable the probe 2 Okay, and next guys is the DTE, and the DTE guys is at the frost termination temperature. In this, in our Dixel, in this Dixel, it doesn't have because XR20 doesn't have together with 10 and 30, but in the model 40 it has. So they put a value of 8 degrees Celsius, which is good. For both chiller and freezer. Uh, tamang tama lang tong 8 degrees Celsius guys. Para sa chiller. At para sa freezer. Na ating uh, commercial refrigerator. That's why I'm not recommending to disable the P2 sensor for the IDF. And this is the question. How to set the defrost time? And here guys the IDF. I'm going to elaborate this one. It has a range of 0 to 120 hour and for the 
10 XR10 it doesn't have but for the 20 30 and 40 it has and I'm going to elaborate that one so here under the DTE this is an interval interval defrost cycle and we have 24 hours a day 24 hours a day for example I set that to 3 hours 24 divided by 3 is equal to 8 hours meaning every 8 hours a defrost will engage in this unit it depends on how you you set the hour here for example 24 divided by 4 hour is equal to 6 hours so every 6 hours this control will engage the defrost heater or the frost hot gas or it will defrost for example I want to choose 6 24 hours divided by 6 is equal to 4 hours so every 4 hours my unit will defrost and what if I want an 8 okay 8 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3 hours now the question guys is which of these four I'm going to use okay this one guys if if it is a busy restaurant or whatever use eight hours okay for eight hours to six hours but for non busy use this four or three why because every time the defrost will engage your temperature drops and you don't want that the food inside the cabinet is going to spoil but for freezer carry but for chiller it doesn't carry guys okay because our chiller setting is between one between one to four degrees Celsius and for freezer between negative 18 to negative 23 and next guys is later we're going to store the value I'm going to explain first and next guy is is the MDF and MDF is displayed during the frost and it has a selection of RT, IT, set or defrost. And this IT here, okay, it has, I also have a question from one of my viewers and he asking me uh, that why when he pressed this uh, defrost, the cursor remain, it says, and what my viewer wants is the DF. Okay, DF when the, when the defrost will engage. So I'm going to answer that also. Okay, for the MDF, the MDF guys is max length of defrost, and we have 20 for our 20. For this control, we have a maximum of 20 minutes, 20 and 30 for the 40. 40 CX and that MDF guys so for the IDF I prefer 3 for busy restaurant okay 3 not 8 and for the MDF this is the length for the defrost for example every 8 hours this unit defrost and it has a length of 20 minutes this 20 minutes is ideal guys 
but if you want 15 15 minutes no problem for the DFD guys display during the frost okay we have a default of IT and I'm going to show you what is IT and what is DF here okay and for the dad this is max display delay after the frost it, here guys it has the dad max display delay after the frost so we have a selection of 0 to 255 minutes and set the minimum time between the end of the frost and the restarting of the real room temperature display so this time guys if you want to delay the for example uh, this is chiller for example the the display temperature when the defrost engages is 3 degrees celsius and a defrost engages because i prefer def here i'm going to change that to def def and the temperature is 3 after the defrost i'm going to delay the this display okay after defrost the temperature remain 3 okay remain 3 degrees celsius and i'm going to delay the activation of that because for example my every three hours and the duration of 20 if i choose 20 here the 20 minutes counting counting for example that three three degrees celsius is stored here is become 15 degrees celsius because of the long time duration of our defrost here the counting here is very long and the temperature become positive 15 if the customer saw that the that their display temperature is positive 15 they will get alarm and they call the technician to fix that one okay and i don't want that to happen to you that the customer keep on calling you and they say they say that it's a bad job so you want to delay that guys showing the, the temperature just put a value of 10 here 10 minutes okay you're going to delay and fdt guys is draining time for other brand for xr40 and above we have zero for the default if you want to put after defrost so that the the drain pan and the pan here the the frost will melt and become water guys okay it will drops it will drops okay continuous dripping while the duration of 20 is counting the water accumulated is going to drop and you want to set the drain the draining time to one minute or two minutes no problem if you want to set the two minutes for the uh, draining time so meaning after 20 minutes plus two minutes the fan motor the activation of the fan motor not yet going to on okay fan motor so no water is scattered and going to the product okay to enter the programming set button and arrow down button for three seconds and another set button and arrow down button for seven seconds to enter the hidden parameter and all the parameter is listed here okay and let's proceed to tdf but it doesn't we don't have the tdf here okay delay idf because here is our control we don't have this so we proceed to idf set that idf so it's at three hours so meaning every eight hours my my 
my unit will defrost but if you want to set that to 6 uh, every 4 hours a defrost will engage and for the MDF the max length of defrost MDF in the here but N here set if you want 50 if you want to put that to the maximum this is 20 minutes no problem just engage that but I prefer these three guys instead of six okay so next we have the DFD here just press the set and the default is IT I already changed that to DEF but if you want to press that to IT okay let's press the IT and we're going to exit that one and we're going to defrost this is a defrost symbol guys and here's what it looks like for the IT okay the temperature remains and the counting is 20 minutes and I set 6 here I stored 6 meaning my unit will defrost every 4 hour and let's end this one and reset it and for example guys and let's change that to df and i'm gonna show you what if i'm going to manually defrost it what is the type of defrost shown to the display and let's look at the dfd okay set let's choose this one guys is set point if you want that to be selected you can select that okay but the moment i engage this I engage the manual defrost set point set point okay my set point is one it will be shown one degree celsius here okay so that is set my set point is this is a chiller so let's end the defrost and on again and I'm gonna show you again the other one types of defrost here we done for the IT and set and let's go to RT once again to enter set button for 3 seconds and 7 seconds and let's change DEF DFT to RT and set and let's exit here and I'm defrost and this is RT okay RT the, the display temperature appear but it defrost symbol light up and we're going to reset it again and on again and I'm going to set that to DF since the question from my viewer my viewer wants that this will appear when the during the frosting so once again enter that one and another set and arrow down button for seven seconds and let's proceed to DFT TFD here is it and I'm going to choose the DEF okay and let's exit there, there let's exit there and let's engage the manual defrost here and a DEF appear okay then for the 
that uh, we're going to delay the activation for that so the customer will not alarm just in case we choose the IT or RT okay if we choose this the currently stored is shown up so once again let's then on and let's enter the programming mode another set and arrow down button for seven seconds to enter the hidden parameters and let's locate to that okay under the dot guys it has a 30 minutes and I'm going to select only 10 minutes okay before the real temperature display will appear and for FTT we don't have the FTT because my is XR20 so we don't have this but if you have it guys just just select between one to two before the activation of the fan motor okay if you have question again guys just comment it down if on call technician is not busy I'm going to answer that God willing and if this video helps you guys with your problem I'm asking you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be updated just in case I have a new upload video. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Good day.